justification is what acquitted of sin. That means you have been acquitted. God doesn't blame, does, God doesn't put any sin on you. You are free. You, you come before him as a free man. Colossians 1.20. Uh, we have five more. Let's go very quickly. Justification is, of course, acquitted of sin. Atonement is cover of our sin. Our sin has been atoned for. The blood has covered our sin. The Leviticus 17.11. The blood of Jesus has covered our sin. So God no longer see. God doesn't see your sin. He doesn't see my sin. We see this as children of the living God because the blood of Jesus has covered. Now, sin, even though it can take you to hellfire, it will open door for the enemy to attack and destroy him. But to God, he sees that our sins are covered in Christ. So we are complete in him. Complete in Christ. Covenant is what? Covenant is also the same as agreement. First Corinthians 11, 12. We have a covenant with him. Relationship. That's why we eat uh, the communion. Every time you, co you commune, that you eat the blood and drink the wine, you are eating of his flesh and drinking of his blood. That you ha I have a covenant relationship with you and that I abide in you. Uh, yes. And you abide with me. Now, conquest means to dominate. Dominate, Revelation 12, 11. We have conquered Satan by the blood. Overcome is what delegated authority. So in Revelation 12, 11, the blood has given us the power to conquer and the blood has also made us overcomers. And then Hebrew 12, 24, they say, yes, speak in is to voice out. Because of the blood, I can speak. Because of the blood, I can speak because God has given me the audacity to speak because blood, some, the blood of Jesus has set me free and made me whole and has given me the audacity to come before him because it paved the way for every believer to come. We must adore and cherish the power that we have in this blood. Two more and we'll be done and then we'll begin to pray. The blood has also, the blood brings cleansing to make clean. And we were dirty. Sin has left a crimson stone on us. On, on us, the sin has left a crimson stain. The sin has stained our soul. It has stained our nature. So when we sin, we are dead before holy God. But blood of Jesus cleanses. That's why John said the blood of Jesus cleanses from all sins. If we confess our sins, Lord will not only forgive, but he will also cleanse us by the blood. That is Hebrew 9, 15, 22. And then it qualifies. The blood qualifies us. Why? What is qualifies means to enter boldly. Cleansing means to make clean. So qualify means you can enter boldly. You have the right. You have free access to come. Hebrew 10, 19 again. So we're going to pray. We're going to pray also using the blood of Jesus today. And don't say, what kind of prayers are this? There is power. Every time we pray in the blood, power is working. Power is being unleashed because that blood has power. If it didn't have power, the Bible will not say we overcame Satan by the blood. Nothing. Even you, you may say you have a little power. Can you overcome Satan? Of course not. You cannot overcome Satan. In your own strength, Satan can run all over you. Even the witches of your father's house, if you are not in Christ, they will destroy everything. But because of the blood, we now have boldness to speak to Satan because we are the children of the living God. We're going to pray. There is power in the blood. And I know there is wonder working power. And that blood will speak for you today. That blood will cleanse you. That blood will atone for your sins and that blood will break, break every, every evil dedication, dedication, every evil sacrifice, sacrifice and, and every block of the pride of Jesus. Because we are me in the mic now. Now you can open your mouth, Mike. We are done. Open your mic. I, I hope you heard me. me. Yes. You are going to stand, my precious ones. And we're going to pray. Using the blood. Stand on your stand on your toe if you if you have the power to do that. May the Lord give you the strength to stand as we are going to war in the realms of the spirit against him. 
You are going to pray. Mm -hmm. First of all, mm -hmm. you will send the blood into your foundation. Mm -hmm. Any evil plantation, mm -hmm. any agenda of darkness mm -hmm. in your body, in your mm -hmm. soul, that will not allow you to do the will of God. Mm -hmm. Things in you that will not allow you to have salvation. Mm -hmm. Things in you that will not allow you to be acceptable before the living God. There is power mm -hmm. in the blood. Mm -hmm. Say you send the blood of Jesus into your foundation. Any evil plantation, let it be flushed out by fire, by force, because the blood is speaking and we have overcome Satan. Yes, with the blood. Open your mouth, please. On fire, on fire, on fire. Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yes, yes, Mojan, <laughs> Mojan, <laughs> <laughs> 
We have said and we are going to say again, even a curse, a curse can follow a believer. That is why Galatians 3 13 says, Christ has redeemed us from the curse of the law. For it is written, Curse is anyone that hung on a tree, that the blessings of Abraham might come upon the Gentile, and that we might receive the promise of the Spirit through faith. Galatians 3 13. So a, a curse in the life of a believer can hinder him. Even God can curse someone who has sinned. There are certain sins attached to man. Once you commit them, curse will follow. You remember, the Bible says, curse is anyone that will lead a blind man into a ditch. If a person who cannot sin, uh, is a person who cannot see, if you hold his hand and you lead him into a ditch, you are cursed of God Almighty himself. Yes. Yes. So there are certain things that come to curse. We're going to pray every day breaking curses. Because some of us, our parents have cursed us so many times that it has become a barrier standing in our way. Your father, your father has become authority over you. Just like your parents. So even if you insult them, it, it can, or they say something against you. Unless it does not align with the will of God, it will work against you. It's very, very important to, note, to take note of this thing. And so we're going to pray against curses. That anyone that has cursed, any evil dedication, evil sacrifice, and every word spoken, a contrary word over your life and your children, it will not stand. 
For no one can curse the man the Lord has blessed. That's why God said there is no enchantment against Jacob and there is no divination against Israel. You see, but if you are not living, if you are not living right, and somebody issue a curse, Satan can enforce that curse against you. Even demons can enforce. I told you about a teacher, a teacher that after 40 years has nothing. Or the children that he taught, some are uh, permanent secretaries, doctors, ministers, and he still in class three teaching it with his slippers, he has nothing. If you ask him money, he has nothing, nothing to give you. All these years, look at the number of people that he trained. He has become a signboard because of curses from children, cursing him every day. The Bible says, a curse without cause, it shall not stand. But believe me, a lot of curses are working against us. From our parents, you will be bread, over one year, share, whoa, over one money, whoa, and see you that. What can't you If somebody tells you that you will suffer, it is a terrible thing in this world. And words are powerful. Matthew 12 37 says, By your words, you shall be justified. By your own words, you shall do what? You shall be condemned. And some pen, I want to start one, what can it do? Many of us, we have closed our own heavens with the things that our own mouth has spoken. You can never rise above the limits you set for yourself with your own words and in your own mind. It's very powerful. There are certain things prayer simply will not do. If you, if you say bad things about your own life, it will be very difficult for God even to step you. That is why God, God caused the prophet, uh, uh, Zachariah, to be dumb. Because when the angel appeared to Mary, Mary said, let it be unto me according to your will. But this prophet, an old prophet who has been a prophet of God for over 60, 70 years, when the angel appeared to prophet Zachariah and said, your, your wife Elizabeth will give birth. He said, how can this thing be? <laughs> I cannot believe this. When I was young, we asked you for a child. We couldn't get it. Now, 84, I know I cannot do anything to my wife. You telling me I'm going to my wife is going to give it. How is this thing going to be? But he forgot that God is able. He's not limited. God is able to do a seeding abundantly, more than we can think. I saw even imagine. When you pray, that is the scope. Believe that things will happen. Believe that my God is able. No matter the prayer that comes forth, pray with fervency. Because the one who has promised is faithful. So you are going to pray like this is your last, last day on earth against every curse, against every blood covenant, against every evil dedication, against evil sacrifice, against parental curses, and against every mouth that has been spoken against your destiny and your life. You are going to reverse them. You are going to break them and set yourself free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Open your mouth and let's pray with thunder. Oh, merciful God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Yes, 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 have be on me. In the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Father, this afternoon, every case will be about me. Father, from my mother's side, from my friends, from anyone. Oh, I don't see the case of me. From any that has been spoken against me. This is the day, Father, I stand in the middle of every case. In the mighty name of Jesus. And every case in the ground. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
We are still praying. Amen. Amen. We are still praying using the blood that any power monitoring your affairs, any power planning evil for your life, and every plot of Satan as signed for year 2021, whether it's sickness, whether it's affliction, setback, limitation bondage, unanswered prayer, or whatever the sickness of child, it shall be aborted by the speakings of the blood. For Hebrew 12, 24 says, the blood of Jesus is speaking better things than the blood of Jesus, uh, than the blood of Abel. And yes, for that, it can yama pa, and can kudu di, tim yeshua brabum, famo janu pong and fry, and let that yes, you know, wonga wudu wachi, Pamojan of Sumu, Saka of Bosawanim, Fasenimia, Nakasa year twenty twenty one, Abayam Kunimdi, and found a bonafre by year, or one among Abayam Sadi Mabe, 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 Abayam Yes, for the sake of money, I say let them pass sanctify. Let the blood bring healing in the year 2021. We we'll hold the blood against every word, against every agenda of darkness. We shall not be in the year 2021. May the ministry be so great in the name of Jesus. I soak my ministry into the blood of Jesus. May the ministry blind them with the blood. And every person that has been sent for you against you, let it be frustrated. And <laughs> Ni busa moja no, moja no mi di Yesu moja no. 
Mere sanctify me ma. Mere sanctify me na na. E wo Jesus. Mo jan o. O musika sa mo. O jan in shell won so. E wa die. Kasama no. Kasama won. Mo jan o. Mo jan o. Mo jan. Mo jan e di bimo. Mo jan e di nkunu. Mo jan o me dey come in fee. Me sanctify wo. E wo Jesus. O need the witch. Father they don't need the blood. In the name of Jesus. O bi aro wa ku su ni mo. Mo jan in shell won. Oh, <laughs> Kasa, <laughs> Mojan <laughs> Oh, me kwa misika misika misika. Oh, baby, ara misika, baby, ara misika. The moja ni di misika, the moja ni di misika. Oh, baby, ara ode meka. Oh, mi busa se moja. Eni be mami, ami sanka misika. Oh, ene Yesu, moja ni tena. Oh, misika se. Oh, Yesu Christo, ne mi ne bi ne wajo. Oh, Yesu, ene yetu misika wajo. Ene yetu wajo. Mojan, <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you for the blood. Thank you. Oh, okay. Thank you. Amen. Amen. As we always do, you know where you hurt the most. You know your troubles. Take it to the Lord in prayer. That is why the songwriter said, What needless grief we often bear. All because we do not carry everything to the Lord in prayer. So you know your troubles. Take it to him. And then let the blood speak for you. People some angasa awara se wuma and yarwa at a tisika sem or how then I'm a kumu and then yes wuja wa e kasa if se when few mujan wuka and yeah for nothing and a mujan jobun samso too many and one and one dear mujani and you have no idea. And to never take it by faith and pray in the name of Jesus, using the blood that let it speak for you. Everything that troubles you, everything that hinders, everything that has been double you, everything that is cause of concern, cause for sleepless nights. Take it to him, you yourself. Open your mouth and pray as you pray. Kinds and wonders will follow you. Let's begin to pray. And Yes, Yes, <laughs> 